With public schools ready to open the, for the school year, Governor Kay Ivey and her legal team are defending a program to allow administrators to be armed in schools without a full-time school resource officer. In tonight's top story, but not everyone is on board with that. WBUA 23's Angelina Jean Croce joins us live tonight with more. Angelina. Jabari, the new program will allow certain administrators to access guns or weapons stored on campus, but some parents feel it puts too much responsibility on administrators. In the last three years, there have been five school shootings in the state of Alabama alone and dozens more all around the country. Earlier this year, Alabama Governor Kay Ivey announced an initiative called School Sentry Program aimed at protecting our children at schools. The School Sentry Program that was announced by Governor Kay Ivey earlier this year is said to be used for those schools that don't have resource officers, but one mother shares that she thinks this will add pressure to those teachers and that they should be focused on getting those officers to those schools. On Friday, State Superintendent Eric Mackey sent a memo to the school systems emphasizing the program was voluntary. Schools who choose to get involved with the program would be trained by state police and the sheriff's office. The sheriff would then have to decide whether or not to deputize them as a reserve deputy. It shouldn't even be an option. You know, if the schools don't have the proper resources, we need to find funds and resources available instead of putting that pressure on teachers. If they don't have the resources available in the school, that's what they should focus on. WVUA 23 News talked with Tuscaloosa City Schools Board member Marvin Lucas. Lucas says it won't be easy implementing this program into the system because it would take the approval from the board. More concern here in, in focusing our efforts on making sure that we have an officer in every school because it's more to have the officer there who knows how to use a weapon if he had to, which we hope we don't have to, but we feel that that's where our concerns and efforts need to be put at this particular time. The program again is voluntary and not all schools will participate. Live in the studio, Angelina Jan Croach, WVUA 23 News.